I lead a group looking at strategy, performance, and resources within the National Risk Management Center. So I like to say that we identify who we want to be when we grow up, we make sure we have the policy, authority, and resources in place to enable that mission, and then on the backside we see, did we do what we set out to do? The idea being that then we can be as efficient and effective um, in our mission as we possibly can be. We were established in 2018 to serve as a center for strategic risk analysis for critical infrastructure. Our goal is to provide actionable risk analysis both to CISA and then broadly to the American people so that as a whole we have more secure critical infrastructure nationally. We are looking heavily right now at uh, systemically important entities and what we mean by that is trying to identify who are the entities that own and operate the critical infrastructure that is most essential to our communities because those are the people that are making critical security decisions to enhance security and resilience. So we need to know who they are so that we can work with them as effectively as possible. Risk management is at its core a really basic decision management and planning process where you really just need to identify what are the things you're concerned about once you know those risks that you're concerned about, what are the options for how you can best address those risks, and then once you um, have selected and implemented a mitigation, how effective have you been in implementing that mitigation, and so then you can come back around in a nice cycle and say, okay, now again, look at my risks, how did I do? That's really what we're trying to do, just identify those risks, and it's critical for the National Risk Management Center to be doing that on behalf of the federal government because there's very limited resources for security and resilience both within government but also the private sector. People don't want to spend money on mitigating risks that won't matter to their bottom line and, and won't matter to the security of their community. So we need to help them prioritize what they need to look at and identify and address those risks that are most likely or most consequential if they do happen. The other set of um, products and, and interactions that we have with the interagency and the private sector is on the risk mitigation side. So now we've identified the problem and we've talked about what are some options and we've maybe identified here's an action we believe we can take together that will make critical infrastructure more secure. What I need first and foremost are people who are passionate about the mission, who are interested in solving novel problems and who are really um, interested in serving on behalf of the American community. We have so many diverse problems that we're addressing um, and everything that we do is novel. So that creative thinking, that willingness to dig in, um, that initiative is essential for us. Curiosity, I love a curious candidate. Um, then that can look like a lot of different things. It often looks for us in the National Risk Management Center like a data scientist, a data nerd, someone who wants to get into the um, intense amounts of data that are now coming out of critical infrastructure and identifying where there are risks that we need to be focusing on. I have been with CISA and its predecessor organization since 2009 and no day between now and then has been the same. That's why I love my job because I've learned so much about um, GPS and elections and pipelines and you know earthquakes and just a strong diversity of things.